the concept of a span is not so easy to grasp. In order to familiarize yourself with a new concept, it is often useful to do a few exercises. In this web lecture, we will discuss an explicit example. As you will see, the actual calculations are not so hard. What is much more important is the reasoning behind the calculation. We will eventually end up with a linear system, but why this particular linear system? So, my advice is concentrate on the reasoning in this example. Suppose we have three vectors, y, u1 and u2. And the question is, is y in the plane spanned by u1 and u2? So y is in the span of u1 and u2 if y is a linear combination of u1 and u2, if and only if, because the span is the set of all linear combinations of u1 and u2. So when is y a linear combination of u1 and u2? Well, y is a linear combination of u1 and u2, by definition, if you have weights c1 and c2, such that y equals c1 u1 plus c2 u2. So that means we have to find a weights such as y over here equals c1 times u1 plus c2 times u2. And this yields here a vector equation. Vectors on the left and right hand side have to be equal. Now we know how to solve such a vector equation. If we look at the components, we get a linear system. Those two vectors are the same if all components are the same, so I need 7 equals c1 plus 4 times c2, first linear equation, and the other two are the other two components of the vector over here. So in order to find c1 and c2, you have to solve a linear system. Oh, but we know how to solve a linear system. We have to form the augmented matrix, and we have to do row reduction. So here we have the augmented matrix. First step minus 2, so leave 1 for 7, 0, 2 times 4 equals 8, 5 minus 8 equals minus 3, 2 times 7 equals 14, 8 minus 14 equals minus 6, over here, and minus 3. Over there, 3 times 1 equals 3, subtract from 3 equals 0, 3 times 4 equals 12, 6 minus 12 equals minus 6, 3 times 7 equals 21, 9 minus 21 equals minus 12. And then we go on, divide by minus 3, divide by minus 6 to get rid of some mess. Minus 1 over here, minus 4 over there. That means that the last row Cancels out completely, consists of zeros now. 4 times 1 equals 4, minus 4 equals 0, 4 times 2 equals 8, 7 minus 8 equals minus 1. And we are done with the row reduction. And then we conclude, we find c1 equals minus 1 and c2 equals 2. So that means that y equals minus 1 times u1 plus 2 times u2. So that means that y is a linear combination of u1 and u2, and that means that y is in the span of u1 and u2. So, final conclusion, y is in the span of u1 and u2. So, always when you're doing some exercises like this for yourself, try to make all the steps and to uh, make the correct conclusion based on your calculations.